The National Mycobacterium Reference Service in Birmingham began using whole genome sequencing, or WGS, in 2016, with the London Laboratory following suit at the beginning of 2018. WGS has revolutionised the service, with this single test now performing the following tasks. Identification. WGS is capable of identifying all mycobacterial species. Drug susceptibility testing. WGS can be used to predict drug susceptibility for the main agents used in treating tuberculosis infection. And cluster investigation. WGS allows high-resolution comparison of TB isolates from different patients, allowing transmission clusters to be identified with ease. WGS is a relatively new addition to clinical practice, and this video, and the ones that follow it, will provide a brief introduction to this technology and how it is used at the NMRS. Bacterial species are defined by their genome, the unique sequence of DNA that forms the recipe book and instruction manual for everything that the bacterial cell makes and does. Whole genome sequencing involves identifying the entirety of this DNA sequence, then comparing it to an extensive database of reference genomes. By doing this, we can accurately identify the species to which the sequence belongs. Once a clinical isolate is identified as Mycobacterium tuberculosis, WGS allows the detection of single base changes in the DNA. These changes are known as single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs for short. The analysis of these SNPs forms the basis of both drug resistance prediction and the relatedness analysis that underpins investigation of clusters of TB cases. In summary, the NMRS now uses WGS for identification of all mycobacteria, as well as drug resistance prediction and relatedness analysis for mycobacterium tuberculosis. We will explore all of these aspects of WGS in other videos.